all, I'm Dr. Jain, Internal Medicine. I'm going to talk to you about COVID-19. It's also known as Nobel Coronavirus or SARS-2 virus. It's a new virus which first started in the Wuhan district of China. It has fast spread across the globe involving mul multiple countries. Uh, now starting with what are the symptoms of coronavirus? Uh, it starts as upper respiratory infection, um, sore throat, uh, dry cough for almost a week, fevers, respiratory distress, uh, and overall uh, flu-like symptoms. It can express itself for up till 14 days since you have been exposed and that's why we say exposure time of 1 to 14 days. It is a very contagious virus. It spreads fast from one person to another. People at risk are elderly people uh, over the age of 60, uh, people with comorbid illnesses like diabetes, heart disease, lung disease or cancer patients. Um, usually coronavirus does not affect children as, as much as it does to elderly people. Coronavirus mainly spreads through droplet infections. Uh, how are droplets formed? When a person with coronavirus infection sneezes or coughs, he releases micro particles which are known as droplets and spreads it in the air for up to six feet. If you come in contact with those droplets, you run the risk of catching the infection. Uh, the droplets can stay on the surfaces for uh, anywhere from a few hours up to two days. Um, therefore, coming to how to prevent catching this infection. So first of all, uh, now with the coronavirus spreading across the globe so fast, um, knowing that it's a very contagious virus, avoid going to uh, places with more than 20 people in a gathering. Avoid going to crowded spaces, uh, conferences with closed rooms. Uh, avoid air travel which involves uh, traveling to countries uh, which have had known cases of coronavirus. Um, secondly, when you go outside, avoid uh, touching commonly used surfaces like doorknobs or surfaces which may have had contact with droplets of infected people. Uh, when you are outside, avoid touching your face, nose, mouth often as you run the risk of catching the droplets on your hands and then introducing it to your airway. Uh, when you come back from outside or if you feel like you got exposed, wash your hands with a hand sanitizer. Uh, CDC recommends of 60% alcohol strength. If you don't have a hand sanitizer, uh, ha washing your hands with soap and water for almost 20 seconds should be good enough. Uh, when you come home, it's a good idea to uh, clean the surfaces of your car if you think you got exposed and uh, using regular Clorox wipes is a good option. Uh, coronavirus has spread to multiple countries, um, starting from China to Italy, Iran. Uh, currently, multiple cases have been positive in the US. So far, uh, if you have come in contact with anybody who has had coronavirus tested positive, or if you have traveled to any of those countries, or if you feel like you want to get checked out, the first step is to call your primary care doctor. Avoid going to ERs or to hospitals if you have um, symptoms which are which could be explained by anything other than coronavirus like flu-like symptoms. Keep in mind we are still in the flu season, uh, US has been hard hit with influenza or flu. So uh, it could be just another respiratory virus causing your symptoms, so avoid going to ER unless you have any of the alarm symptoms. What are the alarm symptoms to look for? Uh, if you have had high grade fever, dry cough, um, if you have respiratory distress, if you are breathing more than um, 20 breaths per minute, um, if you feel like you, uh, your symptoms are not getting over um, and you continue to have symptoms for more than a week, then it's a good idea to call your primary care uh, physician. Uh, coming to treatment, so far uh, there is no vaccine uh, for this virus yet because it's a brand new virus. Um, they are working on a couple of antiviral treatments. Uh, the treatments primarily is symptomatic treatment with IV fluids, hydration, keeping the temperature in control and preventing bacterial pneumonias. Um, so what I would recommend is stay indoors, avoid coming in contact with crowded spaces, wash your hands in soap and water 
and covering your face with a surgical mask is good enough for prevention. Uh, and N95 is absolutely not needed to prevent catching this infection. N95 is mainly for healthcare work workers or people who uh, are in direct contact with a positive case of coronavirus. Um, so stay safe and stay calm.